walk with a cane now. I don't smoke no more. Mm -hmm. Like, hold on. I'm trying to get this thing loose. I guess I should have, I should have took this arm off. Excuse me. I should have took this arm off this wheelchair first. But it's all good. There it is. There it is. That's that arm on this wheelchair. And this word drive has dual meaning drive. I'm driven right now. I'm, uh, I practice every night, day now. I try to film some stuff. Uh, I'm actually, right now, I'm actually filming live on Facebook and live on uh, YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully, they record so I can play them back later. And this interface that I have kind of like uh, getting on my nerves. And, and um, on YouTube, Brandon Williams says, thank you. I got a couple of people watching on, on, on Facebook. But anyway, so I ain't going to stay on here long. I have been practicing for most of the day. I got a couple of bass players that have really inspired me to do this every day. They they heavy hitters. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw one name out there. Giovanni Collier. Uh, one of his uh, one of his uh, main gigs is Bruce Hornsby. Of course, he played with a lot of people. He played with the uh, Pointer Sisters, Fifth Dimension that I know of. And, um, and he a bad dude on the bass, right? But guess what he do? And, and y'all should be inspired by this too. He plays the bass every day, even if he ain't got no gig. <coughs> Playing bass is like <clears throat> a cup of coffee for him. When he get up, he got to play the bass. <laughs> Very inspiring to me. And uh, excuse me for sucking on this piece of wood. This is a, uh, it's called a licorice stick. And uh, I, I, I suck on it because I don't smoke cigarettes no more. I don't drink no more. I don't smoke weed no more. And I like to practice every day now. Uh, I got, I, I've been hired to play um, some studio sessions. Uh, thank you, Don. Um, what else do I do? What up, Dwayne? What up, uh, Don Williams Senior? I got a bass in my hand, bro. Y'all know who Don Williams is. He used to play with the Commodores. And, and a whole bunch of other people. I just... Remember the Commodores, but it's, I can drop names. You know, I'm a name drop. I don't care what nobody said. I'm dropping names, you know, to, to, for my baseness, my skill set, who I associate with in the music business, the heavy hitters, who I play with. Uh, 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 for example, just, okay, I play, I'm a, I ain't no heavy hitter, hitter, but I'm a, you know, I can, I, I got skills and I play with celebrities and all that. Uh, for example, have you ever heard of uh, Lady Gaga? Have you ever heard of uh, Beyonce? Have you ever heard of, uh, 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 who else? Who else? The Commodores? Uh, have you ever heard of, uh, well, I ain't play with them, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, or the Commodores. But I play with the people who play with them, or at least practice with them. You know what I'm saying? But I, I play with some people myself. Uh, anyway, 
the reason I'm on here, I'm gonna try to keep this short this time. Uh, but I play with a lot of people, you know what? I used to be a prodigy when I was a little kid. Uh, I used to know how to, the first time I saw a piano, very first time I saw a piano, I was in the first grade and I knew what to do. Oh, another one of my brothers, Joe. What's up, man? Uh, I used to play with Joe, too. Another excellent musician. But anyway, I was in the first grade. I, as soon as I touched the piano, I knew what to do. And they should have nurtured me as a child, prodigy. But no, nah, they left me on my own. And, uh, it takes a village to raise a child. A child ain't supposed to raise a child. But I still turns out pretty good on the base. So anyway, after I got sick, right after uh, COVID, and I have what's called peripheral neuropathy, I don't usually tell people that that much, but now that I'm better, I don't mind sharing, because who knows who it can inspire. So, uh, so I practice now um, every day. And and even though I've been hired to play in the studio, and then somebody want me to help them produce some some songs, produce some songs, and they pay me, and, and they they talented too, you know. And that's my wife telling me I need to drink some water. Got some water right here. But look, anyway, so I'm practicing every day now. With the peripheral neuropathy messed up my hands. As you can see, my right hand it don't even it don't even open up all the way, and and you know on the bass you got you got to play like this. Let me do it. Here. So it's like this. If these are the two legs that you walk with, this leg is a bum leg. Now my middle finger is a bum leg, but you think I'm gonna let that stop me? No. Nah. Not how I'm practicing, and Giovanni call you. Every, I, every time I practice, I think about him practicing every day for no reason except to, that's this is what he do. So uh, what's up, uh, Jose? Uh, yeah, Joey Jamison too? Wow. What up, Monkey Base across the pond? Um, so anyway, so I practice and 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 I teach too. So if you need some music lessons, I ain't no joke when it comes. I I crack jokes on on social media and stuff, try to be funny. But uh, but this ain't no laughing matter. It's it's, it's fun, but it's I'm dead serious about this. And I'm rehabbing. So I used to be able to play real good. Ask any of these people I used to play with. They they know, they tell you. Tell them Don. Don didn't like me because uh, I wanted to sit down. <laughs> they ain't like no bass player to sit down, okay? I like this. I got to sit down. I got a bad back. And like, nah, uh-uh, brother, basically I got to stand up. I'm like, the drummer get to sit down, the keyboard, you get to sit down on key. How come I can't sit down? Anyway, that's when I can play. Now, all this stuff happened to me, so I got to rehab my hands back because they don't work. So what I'm practicing is, is the spider. Now, you can't see it on, on, on Facebook that I'm on the first fret. The beach string. And you, if you hear that garbage in the string, you hear all that rattling. So I'm working on that. And, and usually works out. So I practice this, this thing called the spider. Where I go, I'm going to just start at the fifth fret so you can see it. So I go, Two, three, four. And what I'm trying to do, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm trying to make all of these sound 
good. Each finger. You try to alternate this and make it sound even. And then you gotta go to the next string. Now, why am I doing four? Hey, uh, uh, little Nisi Poo. Why am I doing four each? The reason I'm doing four each because if I do one each, you see, I still got that garbage in them. So, and I ain't in no rush. I'm taking my time. I'm going to clean it up. The best way to clean them up is to do, I get, I should do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four. But I, I can do four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three. The goal is to get to one. Next train. Next train. And I want to play each one of them clean, then come back. No mistakes. Okay, so people can still hire me to play in the studio. Don, when you when you start making some new tracks, my brother, send the tracks this way. Let me lay a blank based on that. Anyway, um, so I'm practicing that, and I do that over and over again. And then I do the other spider. I call that the elementary spider. And then I do the other spider where you play on the first fret position. And you move this up to the second fret, up a string, up a, up a uh, string, up a fret, up a fret, up a string, up a fret, up a string. Then you come back down, wee. And I'm trying to use the tip of my fingers. And I'm trying to play, oops, I forgot to do it. I'm supposed to go down a fret, down a fret, down a fret, down a fret. And I land the back on the first fret so I know I landed where I started. And then that's the uh, junior high school spider. And I practiced that, but I hit them four times each. Then the high school spider is a little bit more complicated where you go. Clean it up, brother. Clean it up. We want clean notes. Upper fret, upper fret, upper fret. Clean it up, brother. No fret buzz. No fret buzz. Now, if I do it right, I should lay it back on that first fret or the B string. Be like boy string. <laughs> So I landed back on the first fret. You can't see it over there. The first fret, I landed back on the first fret again. And, and so, and I don't know if you noticed, but I sound a lot better than I did when I first started documenting me practicing every day on YouTube. And I'm gonna keep practicing that simple stuff right there until my hands get right so I can, I wanna be able to. Or uh, do. And, and I want to position my hands right so I can be fluid. So I have to. 
That's major, uh, a minor seventh uh, arpeggio. And then major seven. And that's a, a, a diminished, a minor seven flat five. One minor third, diminished fifth. Or how can the fourth? Are we gonna call it the minute fifth? Then a minor. And then, then we're gonna do a, a major, a, 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 a dominant seven. Then, uh, then we're gonna do some kind of four, a major four. Get both fingers to be on the same string at the a lot of practice and stuff like that. Let y'all know, watch out, brother on his way back. I practice every day. Every, 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 every day. I'm sucking on a licorice thingy so I can uh don't think about cigarettes. And then I mess around with some other stuff. You know, um, and I can't bend this note like I used to be able to. Wait, I know, I know, did, did the note. I'm not strong enough to bend it. But anyway, um, I'm getting better. That's the whole point of this video, to document how I sound right now. Like if I play the major scale. Major scale in thirds. Second to the fourth. Third to the fifth. Fourth to the sixth. Fifth, fifth to the seventh. Sixth to the eighth. Seventh, seventh to the ninth. Flat nine, the one or the eight, and I can sing that note, but I can't sing. So I, yeah, I just be practicing hours, uh, and I, and I pull the sheet music out too and read that, and then I sit here and I do this all day because I want to play with my thumb this time because this hand broke. So I might have to do the thumb, but I plan on having surgery. And I want those notes to sound even. And the only way I'm gonna get good at this, to where I can, where I can join it with the frets, is I gotta practice this. I gotta practice every day, all day, over and over and over and then and I'm and it sounds like garbage. I know that. Uh but anyway, so I go. This ain't thumping, but but I'm in I'm in position. So I can't do that. So listen to where I am right now today on four four two four. Uh, try to do some thumping like a multi uh, technique. So I ain't, I'm trying to hit those notes. They ain't coming out. Why they not coming up? So I keep practicing. 
Kawas. Kawas. I used to know how to play that. All right, how about this one? Okay, so you get the point. I can't play it yet, but I'm documenting this and uh, say what you will about my garbage. Uh, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. I'm gonna straighten it out. couple of pentatonics. Anyway, um uh I'm gonna let I am going to get off of here. I've been on here for uh, somebody sent 20 stars. I don't know what that means, but thank you. So anyway, I'm gonna get off of here in a second. Uh uh anyway that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing every day, and I'm only recording this this document, my garbage, and, and I'm gonna keep recording. I ain't gonna record every day, but I'm gonna practice every day, and I'm gonna keep doing this until I am satisfied. And one of my brothers, I'm gonna mention his name. He had some health issues, and now he's on the other side of the health. You know, on the other side of that thunderstorm, it's sunny and shiny all in this health life right now. And uh, and he, he said he was already a great sax player, Lenny Price, who I went to school with. Great sax player, man. And he said, I'm coming out the other side. I'm going to be even better. And I was listening to him like, yeah, I'm not going to just get as good as I was. I'm going to get better than I was, and um, why not get better if you capable of it? You know what I'm saying? I'm capable of getting better, so that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna practice all the time, every day, and I'm I'm already ready for these songs I gotta do in the studio. They are not gonna sound like garbage. The stuff I'm practicing, the songs is easy, so I can just play with one finger if I have to, but. But um, I'm gonna get good, man. And uh, ladies, I'm gonna get good, good, good. I'm gonna be good, good. All right. And uh, hey, oh, that's my neighbor from uh, school. I mean, from from Carlisle and Inkster. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to get back good again. I got to go work out too because I'm trying to. I'm trying to rehab the whole me, man. So, so with that said, I, again, I like to tell everybody that I love you all, and I embrace. I embrace you with love and happiness and tenderness and. And uh, may you all be protected from evil and surrounded with love and peace. 
I mean, just surround you like a force field, love and peace all around you. No stress. Uh, what up, deep boo? Boy. Uh, yeah, work. Yes, that's right, Murky. I mean, Monkey. It's all mental with me. That's why I'm back, because cause I'm getting my mental together, man. And my spiritual. Okay? I'm getting it all back together. And I just wanted to share that. And, and then I'm going to get back on here in another day. And hopefully you can see an improvement in my playing. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play a little bit of Curtis Blow. I mean, not Curtis Blow. Uh, Mayfield. I'm your mama. I'm so daddy. I'm that nigga in the alley. I think that's what he said. <laughs> I'm your pusher man. So I see that's easy to play, dude. And it's almost clean. Come on, fingers, follow my brain. So, you know, I'm trying to do a little ad lib. Somebody said, stay in the pocket, quit all that garbage. Still some garbage in there. Hey. Let's prove tonight. Shed a spice of light. I can't sing either. Oh, what else I come up with off the top of my, my head? Um. Something like that. Uh, what else? Uh, speaking of Motown. Uh, what is that? Oops. Going out on the road, I played with this group called the Multitown All Stars, and um, uh, we did a lot of Motown stuff. It used to be called the Motown All Stars with members from the Miracles. Members from the Temptations, members from uh, uh, dang, some other groups, the singers anyway. And then one of the songs we played was uh, "My Girl" by the Temptations. And 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 I got to play that by myself, you know, in a medley. And then and the crowd would go crazy. And in some places when I got to play solo, ring, 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 ring. hey, but when I did this one, they went crazy. That little simple, little, simple, little thing. So what up, uh, cuz, cuz it cuz, small world cuz, Emerson. What up, Billy? Then the guitar. I got sunshine. Oh, garbage. On a cloudy day. 
And when it's cold, I, ooh, so cold outside. I got the mother made. I don't know what that means. Or well, either I'm singing the wrong lyrics. Hey, I guess you say what can make me feel this way, my girl, my girl. I'm talking about my girl. Oh, I can't sing with the shit. Oh my lord! But I, I'm cracking myself up. I'm having fun, except for when my interface keep doing that whistling. Anyway, so anyway, I got to go. I got to practice some more, and then I got to go work out so I can get out of this wheelchair, which I don't, I don't use it that much anymore. Get out of this wheelchair. I got to go work out. I'm going up and down the stairs. Uh, outside my door is a flight of stairs to the second floor. And it's 13 stairs and the 14th is the platform for the second story or the, the ground floor for the second story. So I go from one all the way up to 14, come all the way back down, then go back up to 13, all the way back down, then the 12, go all the way back down. You kind of get the point, right? And I used to have to take a break between them, but now I can go 14 down, 13 down. 12 steps, then down. Then 11, then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, to 1. And then when I get to 1, I'm feeling all cocky and, uh, what's that word I learned yesterday? Hubris. Cocky and hubris. And uh, so I do that one step back and forth a couple of times. Now, today, what I should want to do is I want to go up to the 14th and then, then down 13, blah, 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 back up 13, blah. And then when I get to the first floor, instead of messing around and being all hubris and cocky and proud of myself, it's really I'm proud of myself that I can do this now because I couldn't do it before. I should get try to go 14 again, 13. And then so that <clears throat> so that'd be two sets. And then be super cocky and proud because I can walk that. I have the endurance and the stamina to do that. And, uh, and, and as you can see, I'm a mouth runner. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that is awesome. You're absolutely correct, Brandon. Music is fun and fun is music. Uh, Yes, fun. Yes, having fun, my monkey, and um, y'all want to know something else interesting? Trump. You spell Trump backwards, it don't spell shit. How about that? So, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this, and I'm gonna get serious about my practice. But I'm coming back. Uh, yes, uh, Brendan, I'd like to hear it. Why don't you leave a link to your music so I can listen to it and maybe play along with it. Uh, back down memory lane. Um, that remind me of a mini Remington. Yeah, leave a link right here, bro. And, and not only will I listen to it, I'm sure some other people are going to stop by here later. I take a gander and uh, lend you their ear as well. And knowing me, I'm gonna play along with it and see, you know, just, I gotta practice anything. If I heard right now, the only thing I can hear is my fan and it's on oscillate. And I can hear a song coming out of there and pitches. So, uh, I'll play along with anything. 
And um, with that said, I'm getting ready to go, y'all. And thank you for stopping by and listening to me. Uh, this is therapeutic, is rehabilitative. And even though my hands got peripheral neuropathy and I can't, I can't feel the bass. Mike Harrington set my bass up real nice and I mean it's real nice and and low and easy to play. And um and then if I dig in, I can get that plucky sound kind of like it's almost like that. See that's the thumb, but I want to be able to do it as well. And the only way you can do that with the strings close, but not too close where you get fret buzz. The mic set me up. No fret buzz. Mike Harrington is the man. The heavy hitter don't get no bigger. Thank you, uh, Mike. And uh, so I can't feel it, but I know I, if I could, I know that this feels good, if that makes sense. Anyway, I gotta go and practice and then go walk, walk up and down the stairs and uh, all that good stuff. So, thank y'all. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to finish this. The big, look who just joined in. The big Edward Tony Green, also known as T Money. If y'all know who that is, Y'all been asleep for the last 50 years. Actually, and Dean, what's up, Dean? Y'all trying to keep me, but look, I got to talk about T, T Money Green said, my teacher talking about me. That's right. The 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 great unsung, uh, I can't call him a legend because people be using that word loosely, anybody a damn legend. Nah, so Tony... I gotta call him an uh, icon. If y'all don't know who the icon is, dude, started off with the dramatics, playing bass, and this stupid ass dude taught himself how to play bass wrong, but he, he was good at playing the bass wrong. What I mean by wrong is he right handed, he's supposed to play it like this. He had it flipped upside down like he left handed. Uh, he ain't stupid, I'm just saying. But he he an icon he played with. Who else he played with? Snoop Doggy Dog, Dr. Drake, Warren G, and school jump on. Look. This dude, he playing all the wrong notes. Well, now. Be in the Lay back with my I'm the money and my money on my mind. Tony Green, the dude who wrote that, my buddy, an uh, icon. Y'all be sleeping. Y'all be sleeping on an uh, icon. The, for y'all to still here, look up Tony Green, T Money Green, bass, composer. I'm about to say some wrong words. The dude's vault. He got more songs in his vault. Than he, did you ever win a Grammy yet, Tony? I know you got about 2,000 Detroit Music Awards, but but he worked with Snoop, gave all them bass lines. And, and before I even knew the dude, we talked, and he told me he played on this one. So it's all. He played it backwards too, upside down. Didn't even know how to play bass and was killing it. Yeah, I know it's a five. I know you know it's a five special. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. 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 <laughs> that was you on that bass. That was funny. Uh, uh, let, yep, let me ride. 
Let me ride. Michael Kelly. Uh, now, nah, Michael Kelly is an Inksta legend. I don't know if y'all know who that is. One of the Funketeers. Okay, so shout out to you, Mike. And, and, and I'm going to go on here and be honest right now. I couldn't stand Michael Kelly. Not not the person, Michael Kelly. The dancer with the Funketeer. Because them dudes, every time it was a talent show, now we playing music, okay? But they get on, they get on there. Him, Eddie, and Cricket, and Tony, and uh, the other dude, they get up on the talent show and start dancing. First place, the fucking fucking tears. I like, no, they ain't even playing no instruments. How they get to be in first place is dancing. The girls used to. I'm just saying, they would, they would. Uh, much due respect and credit, your flowers, brother. I'm giving you your flowers. Inkster legend. They, when you come to the city of Inkster, you're going to see the home of the world we now funky tears. That's the, sh that's the shit, for real. And also, his daughter is my student right now. That's small world. And she used to live next door to my cousins. I, I got to mention that. I forgot to mention that last time. She used to live right next to to my uh, uh my cousins and y'all just ain't gonna let me leave is y'all so so yeah y'all look up T Money Green he did all that work for Snoop and them you watch these documentaries Snoop and them give uh T Money his credit remember when the uh, uh the dramatics came to hang out with Snoop and Dre and them and did that um uh, I forget the name of the song. And they all up in the video and everything. Like, she was not used to that. Uh, T Money set that up. T Money, my former student, and now another legend, Insta legend, Herman Hayes is on here. What up, Herman? The only Trump, me and Herman used to play trombone in high school. Herman Hayes. I used to think I was the sh on trombone because I didn't even have to practice and I come and, and get first chair every time. I didn't even have to practice. That's how good I was, right? The <clears throat> and then when I get to high school, uh, I'm in the ninth grade. I'm expecting to get first chair and then I run into this guy play trombone named Herman Hayes. Whoop my ass on trombone. I still I still uh was second chair. Um but Herman Herman was on the trombone. You know that Herman, right? Flowers for you, bro. I'm giving you your flowers too. But anyway, I'm trying to get off of here. My goal for recording this is to let you guys know. Those who care that I ain't sick, I still got peripheral neuropathy. I can't feel nothing, but that ain't no excuse for me to get back on here and get good again. And I'm gonna do. I practice every day, and um, and and by practicing every day, I notice I'm getting a little better each time. And I be practicing for hours, and I do stuff over. And over, and over, and over, and over. Any uh, half of these people don't even know what practice is about. It practice is about mastering your craft, mastering it, not just being good at it. You want to be the best, the very, 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 very best. And that's what I practice to strive to be, the very, very best Ivan that I could be. And I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting there. And, and it ain't just the basis, the whole me, you know, walking up, exercising, losing weight. I stopped smoking. The only thing I smoke now is licorice twigs. And, um, getting my health together and getting on this basis and getting paid again. Got studio work coming. I'm getting paid. 
to do something that I love. This is not a job. And with that said, thank everybody who uh, came on here on YouTube. I'm looking in the YouTube camera. Now I'm looking in the uh, Facebook camera. And, um, and thank all y'all for stopping by. Richard Page, another bass player. What up? I remember you, bro. Larry Fuller. What's up? Uh, Adam S. is back on YouTube. Until the next time, my friends, yes again. And so in closing, not Giovanni call you. So, man, do you know I was just talking about you? Giovanni, I can't leave. Now I said, you go on here. And I, I was just talking to him. Giovanni, the other day, he played with Bruce Hornsby. He's one of his big, big gigs. And then all of these legends he played with. But what he, what you do, Giovanni, that inspired me. Now a damn a pilot that fly airplanes is on here. What up, Dan? Hey, Dan. Uh, I always have visions of me being rich and getting the private jet. And I'm a hire. I was gonna hire you to be one of my pilots for my Gulf Stream or Embraer or whatever the new. Uh, Whatever the new thing is. But anyway, Giovanni Flowers, legend, Detroit legend, that people be, there's so many unsung base legends from Detroit that's posted up all around the country and, and in other countries from Detroit, spreading the love, the James Jameson love. But, but Giovanni, the one that got me practicing every day, I'm not as dedicated as you are, Giovanni. They get on here like every morning, like a cup of coffee in practice. I can't do that, bro. I, I have trouble getting out the bed. I got to stretch and warm up and do yoga in the bed horizontally before I get out there. But I practice every night, day now, Giovanni. Thanks to you, brother. Take credit for it. Every day I practice. And just so you can hear what I play like, uh, heavy hitter, Mr. Heavy. All these heavy hitters on T Money, Giovanni, Don Williams of the Commodores was just on here for a second. Uh, and and my YouTube people was on here. But Giovanni, this is what I can play, man. Look. Oh, no. I'm trying to play that clean, huh? I'm trying to play, I don't want you to hear no fret buzz or nothing. I want both of these fingers to sound like you can't tell the difference. So it's like. Ah, you can hear that second finger. That damn fingernail. I got, I'm a, I got to shave that fingernail so it'll just be my fingertips. And then you ain't going to be able to, That's what I'm practicing on. I'm practicing on being good again. And then I'm going to practice on being better than good. I'm going to be good, good. And it's going to take a minute. I ain't in no rush. The little studio gigs I, I hired for, I'll be okay. Ain't nothing complicated. But I'm practicing for complicated stuff coming my way. I'm going to uh, speak it into existence. At the tender age, uh, uh, 62, I know I'm on the other side of the hill now. But I'm still here. I might as well go ahead and use my time uh, wisely. No, that ain't the word I'm looking for. I might as well go and use my time and have fun and be the best me I can be instead of sitting around laying down and, uh -huh, I'm sick, uh -huh, help. Even though I might play sick if the right chick. No, no, I ain't going there. Anyway, um, uh, Leonardo Dino. Felicitations. Felicitations? I don't know what that is. Uh, 
N another legendary bass player that popped up in here. What up, Big? Big Robinson, man. This dude, yeah, Vic, I'm on the bass. On Studio 50. Hey, hey, T Money, man, let me play on one of your songs, bro, please. <laughs> uh, you ain't even got to pay me. I've former students on here, but Vic Robinson, dude, this dude can play anything. I remember going to jam sessions, and, and he can play with everybody, too, Vic. That, that, man, thank you, man, for showing up and, and stopping by to say that. But you used to impress me at them jam sessions where they go, can y'all play this? And Vic ain't got no problem. I don't care what song it is. He know how to play it. I was impressed, Vic. You know what I'm saying? T-Money, I'm going to come. Just set me out of eight bars or 16 bars, you know how to loop in uh, what you call a loop, cut and paste. I can play for at least 16 bars or I can do some of your stuff too. It's one mix seven or undercover cop and you don't stop all that kind of stuff. I can play, uh, I can do this, man. And uh, what else? What else? Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna need some of that smoke too. You uh, and I'm gonna need an autographed copy of your book. I'm gonna need that book, bro. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Giovanni. I am. I'm, I'm. 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 I can't shut up now. I can't. I don't have no cigarettes to calm me down, bro. So what I'm doing, all of this bursts of energy, I'm uh, I'm doing this, man. Trying to learn how to play. I got a target. I got to get this thumb back on target. Do some hammer-ons. Some pumps. Some left-hand hammers. So you can't tell the difference between the left hand and some of that uh uh what's his name? Louis Johnson. Dude. Dude. I forget how it go. But I know that's the right note. Dude. Dude. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you uh, my boy uh, Vic, I bet Vic can do that <laughs> right off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Vic, you're going to have to come over here, man. And place name that tune, you know, or play that tune. Just name a song and then, and just watch you go to work. Oh man, yeah, I'm coming back to you, money. I'm coming back hard, brother. And, and, and thankful, inspire me, man. You and everybody else, man. I'm coming back. I can't, y'all. I'm I'm done sleeping. I'm, my my mental is back, you know that COVID and and this my my stuff kind of messed with me, and it took a few years. But y'all gonna see this is just a document. I'm at 55 minutes of what I was gonna do for 20 minutes, but I'm documenting where I'm at now. Um, somebody name a song right quick. That everybody know, so I can just play. See if I can play it right quick. Somebody, give me some, Vic. Uh, Brandon, somebody, Leonardo, give me a song. I'm gonna try to play it. It gotta be something everybody heard though. 
so I can see if I can play it. And I'm a I'm gonna play it in the meat and potatoes section. That's what my little sister in law, hey sister in law, tell my brother. I said, hey, tell the baby, my little, my uh, uh my little nephew. I said, what's up? Papa was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Both of y'all, T Money Green and Giovanni Claudia, they're heavy hitters, by the way. Said play Papa was a Rolling Stone, so. Oops. Oh, wait, hold on. The easy way. Three three heavy hitters just told me to play Papa was Rolling Stone. I don't know if I'm in the right key or not. It was the 3rd of September. But that day I always remember. That time come. That was a day that, that my daddy. I ain't, my rhythm ain't, I ain't got my rhythm right yet. My name is not Big Eye. My name is uh, Brother Ivan. Until I get my rhythm card back. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it. <laughs> Everybody was thinking, oh, uh, somebody said Sugar Hill Gang. You mean Sheik? Youngster? Sugar Hill Gang. Sheik. Good time. <laughs> I almost got it. Just give me a couple of them. Do, do, do. I got that other part of the loop. Do, 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 do. I say, hip hop, a hippie, a hippie, a hippie. Say, hop, hip. Ain't no way I can sing. That's too much syncopation and stand in the pocket. It ain't going to work. Oh, man, this was fun. So, anyway, thank you all for coming by. Thank you. We love you too, Vic. I love everybody. Unconditionally, I don't care what you done did. I still love you. And, um, and, and I got to go. It's 59 minutes and 18 seconds there. And I cut this one on at the same time. So this is going to be a whole 60 minutes. And, and y'all can tell I lost weight. Look at that neck. All you see is the, the inside of my neck. I still ain't got no Adam's apple. My niece used to laugh at me. She said, you ain't got no Adam's apple. So she used to call me her auntie. And I call her my nephew. Now my real auntie just showed up. Yeah, you did, auntie. Because I'm getting ready to uh, get off of here. and Because um, I'm at 60 minutes. And like I said, I love everybody on YouTube right there. And I love everybody on Facebook. I'm going to show y'all, look, this is my YouTube that I'm doing right there. Is that, can you see that? Am I doing it right? And then that's the YouTube camera. I don't know if you can see it. And then YouTube, this is my Facebook camera. So thank y'all for uh, hanging out there with me and making me, I feel real good. So when I go exercise now, I'm going to practice for real right now, but. But I'm about to, uh, after I finish practicing these songs, I got to play in the studio. Because I got to play them every day, over and 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 over again. I don't care how good I got it. That ain't good enough. Okay? And, um, and then I got to go work out on the stairs. But I'm going to be back. And hopefully y'all hear the improvement. Hopefully I inspire somebody to practice, get off your ass, and do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Whatever it is, don't just sit your ass down and do nothing. Do something. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, niece, uh, sister-in-law, a girl. My bad. 
So anyway, y'all should y'all should come over and visit Sheila, and then that way I won't make no mistakes. All right, come over and say hi, break bread, and and and. I don't drink no more, but I sure would like some of them that sippy, that Hennessy, whatever that is, Donnie be sipping on. I don't drink no more, but I take a sip. That's a, that a sip ain't gonna do nothing to me. So anyway, y'all, thanks for showing up, and I'm out. Sixty-two minutes, and I'm out on both cameras, and and I love everybody. And I show my base next time, Aston. Peace out. And, and everybody here on YouTube, same thing. Peace out. Uh, peace, peace.